Well, good morning, my awesome friends and followers of the channel. And the members, yes, thank you for your continued support as we move in this direction of transparency. Yes, well, believe it or not, I'm filming this at about, it's about half five in the morning. And I am on a mission actually today. I've been up since about one, one o'clock. I left my home at half one and I headed to a location which you're going to find out about this evening. <laughs> but I did watch the Jake Paul fight, the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight and I'm going to be honest people, it was a joke, an absolute joke. Um, eight two minute rounds, um, Jake Paul won, he won the fight, unanimous decision in points but the weird thing about this is Mike Tyson hardly threw a punch it looked like he was it looked like he didn't want to throw any punches it just it was just awful it was just an awful boxing match uh, Jake Paul win Mike Tyson Mike Tyson didn't even show up in the boxing ring it wasn't the Mike Tyson shameful but what else is happening Alison Pearson, journalist. I've had I've had little interactions with Alison in the past, but we, we've reached a stage now where we've reached a stage now in the UK where we are worse than a communist country when it comes to what's happening on social media. Criminals are being let out of jail, and people that speak their mind are being locked up. But when I say that, yeah, but they say about speaking your mind. There's a difference between speaking your mind and having freedom of speech than hate speech and attacking and malicious communication. They're different things entirely. But you know what, and I hate to say it, but the police, the police have failed in the UK. Um, if you want justice, you've got to do it yourself. I think anyway just my opinion people if you want justice in life you got to go and seek justice yourself uh, there's no point going to the police anymore the police aren't there to help us the police are actually hindering good people they're not assisting us anymore they're not serving their communities they're serving their paymasters and it's quite clear that the police now the police have gone rogue and criminals are being protected so I have no faith whatsoever in any police force anymore uh, I'm dealing with things myself uh, and I'm using every ounce of strength and I'm calling in the big guns to get things done because there's no point. Uh, the police are utter shit. They really are. Shameful behaviour. Then shameful behaviour from those that are meant to protect us, aren't they? Quite sad. And Rachel Reeves, the Chancellor. Have you heard about the Chancellor this morning? Oh my God, Rachel Reeves. She's actually been on LinkedIn and she's she's amended her own CV and she's added in stuff to do with finance when she's not qualified. I mean, even the Chancellor is lying. I mean, it's been called out now all over the internet today that the Chancellor's been on and adjusted her CV to make it look like she knows what she's doing. As, as a Chancellor in charge of finances. She's up to her shit, isn't she? Hank, is there anyone in the government that's actually qualified? I, I, I don't think there is anymore. I don't think there's anyone qualified anymore. Yeah, you can lie about your CV. It's bad enough bumping into Walter Mitty's and, and, and veterans that gloat about their careers and pretend they have done tours and pretend to have PTSD. There's, there's lots out there. There's quite a few veteran YouTubers that pretend they have served in the army. Oh yeah. And then they pretend they've been in Bosnia and yeah, they're all running around with PTSD and they haven't got PTSD. They're just mentally disturbed, but they're masquerading like they have a mental illness from serving. They don't. Yeah. Well, people, as I said, stand by for later on this evening when I will be letting you know exactly where I am. I've done a little bit of traveling this morning. I'm, I'm in England point that out but uh 
going to surprise you later. Mm -hmm. I really am. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Very sad to see Mike Tyson. I can't look at him the same anymore because that was embarrassing. He took the big paycheck and he didn't want it. And he clearly, it must have been in his contract that he wasn't going to throw any punches and he wasn't allowed to hurt Jake Paul. It was pathetic. Um, but I think we're sort of used to that type of thing now, aren't we? Could be worse though. Could be that little prick, Prince Harry. I mean, Time Magazine have voted Harry as one of the top 100 voices for climate change. Voted on by a guy who's had over 60,000 ermels this year alone. What a load of shit. I mean, the elite seem to think we're all retarded and they, uh, they don't think we know how to do checks on things. An ordinary person who's never been on holiday in England, and there's millions of them who've never been abroad, are doing more for climate change than any celebrity. In fact, they're doing more for climate change than all celebrities put together. So whenever you're seeing all these people getting all this here, uh, the voice of climate change, it's all bullshit. Like Greta Thunberg. I mean, honestly, there's a woman that lives in my village who's never been abroad. She's done more for climate change than Greta Thunberg. I mean, they're hypocrites, aren't they? They're all hypocrites. But we've come, we've come to be used to these hypocrites, haven't we? Well, listen, I must go. Why must I go? Because I need to keep winning. Have a wonderful day, people, and stay safe.